Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that He is He's with us and He's for us? Aren't you glad that He loves us and He cares for us and He knows us by name? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I so said today I want, to, I want to speak about this uh, on, on how the word, how, how do we put the word into work? We, we have the word of God with us. The word of God is with us. But we need to put the word into work. We need to make the word to work. Hallelujah. The word will empower us to live a, 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 a life that is, that is from above. And not a defeated life, not a victimized life. A life that is mighty and powerful in God. Hallelujah. Because God has deposited his word in our hearts. His word says he has deposited his word in our hearts. So today, in that word, we need to dwell and we need to walk and we need to have a, 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 a very life. Hallelujah. In, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus said to that, he spoke to that, the devil was tempting him to turn the, wall, the bread, uh, stone into bread. But Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone. See, this is a word that is coming to every one of us. Because many of us are looking for, for many things that are in the world. We are looking for jobs. We are looking for uh, satisfaction. We are looking for joy. We are looking for peace in our families. But all this comes when we dwell, when we dwell in Him. When we dwell in His word. Hallelujah. When we take His word and make our dwelling in that word. Psalms 91, all of us may be knowing, I think everyone knows the Psalms and everyone says it in, in, in I mean, every house when I, mean, I go, I see everybody in the house, they know the Psalm. But when I ask them about their life, they are in trouble, they are in pain, they are, I mean, they are crying and they are, uh, I mean, weeping and I mean, they are in so brokenness, but they have not understood the very Psalm that they are reading every day. They know the psalm and it is wired, but they have not understood what the psalm was, what the psalm speaks. Hallelujah! That he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty, and you will say of the Lord, "You are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust." Hallelujah! See, it's a, it's, it's a mind-blowing word, and that's a, the psalmist is saying this. He says, "I who dwell." It's you and I. We need to dwell. It's not a, we are not visiting God. God does not invite visitors. He's inviting those people who are dwelling in Him. Hallelujah. When He said dwelling means a residence. We are resident in that place. When I say this is my address of my house, that means I'm staying in that place. I'm not visiting that place. When someone asks you where is your address of your house, you will give your right address. You know where you are staying. You know where you are staying. You know your place. So likewise, a, 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 a dwelling place, our address is God. Christ is not only a person, but he is also a place. He said, those who remain in me, the so remaining where in, in that place, remain in me and my words remain in you. Then you are the, you are the people who love me, he says. If my words are not dwelling in you, if my words are not in your heart, then you, you are only speaking words which are empty. Hallelujah. You may be praying, but their prayers are empty prayers. Empty prayers. But when you have the word inside of your heart, you will pray with confidence. Because you know who you are. You know who you are. You know that you belong to God. Because in his word he declares your identity in him. And he identifies himself in you. He says, you, I am in you and you are in me. As I am in the Father and the Father is in me. So will I make my dwelling in you. So the Father and I will come and make our dwelling in you, he says. So the, the Father and the Son has made their dwelling in our hearts. He said, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What, what, can, what can you give me? What can you offer me? Hallelujah. God, God, God does not live in heaven. Heaven is in God. Hallelujah. Heaven is in God. We say God is in heaven, but heaven exists in him. 
He is above everything. Hallelujah. There is no beginning and there is no end of God. He is the, al the Alpha and the Omega. He is everything. Everything begins in Him and everything ends in Him. He is a source of everything. Hallelujah. He is a source of all goodness. In Him is everything that we need in life. So if you have not identified, if I have not identified myself and I, may not, I have not made my dwelling in God and have taken my place in Him, I will be only living a life which is empty. I will be only living a life which is a reckless, a life which is without any meaning, without any purpose. I will be only saying words which are empty, hallelujah. But deep in my heart, I have not believed. Deep in my heart, I have not believed that I belong to God. Deep in my heart, I am still empty because I have not taken God as my Lord. I have not taken my place in God. I have not given Him that place. The center of my heart. Why today a small problem becomes a big mountain for us. A small thing becomes a big issue in our lives. That, it, that we can go uh, the nights and without sleep. Hallelujah. Because that troubles our hearts. A small problem can trouble your mind and your heart. And it can wreck you. Hallelujah. It can destroy your life. He says uh, in Hosea 4.6. My people are perishing because, because, not of, because they don't go to church. Not because they don't, don't go for Sunday Mass. It's not because uh, they do not say their prayers. No. It's, my people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. Lack of knowing who, he, who they are and who we are in Christ. When we do not have that identity in place. When we do not take our, our, our place in Christ. We are, we are living a life just completely in disarray. There is no, there is no, uh, there is no directions. He says, my, the word of God says in Psalms 119 verse 5, verse 105, Psalms 119 verse 105. He says, the, the, the word of God is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. The word of God is a light unto my path. It gives you light. Hallelujah. It gives you light. The word of God is, is, is light to those who are in uh, who are called in righteousness hallelujah it's a light you can never be in darkness because he is the light the word is light jesus is the light he is the word who came down for us hallelujah let's read malachi chapter 3 verse 16 hallelujah thank you lord malachi chapter ch chapter 3 verse 16 then he says, then those who feared the Lord, then those who feared the Lord talked, they talked with each other. Who? The one who feared the Lord, they talked with each other and the Lord listened. Who? The Lord listened and heard. The Lord listens to what you're speaking, what you're saying. You don't think that you have said something and it is an, and no one hears you. When you sit and crib and cry and, cry and complain and, and, uh, and do all, speak all the negative words, don't ever think that you are not being heard. You have been heard in the heavenly places. God is hearing your word. Everything that you say, everything that you speak. And here the word of God says, Then those who fear the Lord talked with each other. When you have the fear of the Lord, you will only speak about God. You will only speak about his goodness. You will only say how great he is. How good he is. Even in the midst of the storms. As David says in Psalms 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is my, raw, is my salvation. Hallelujah. Of whom shall I be afraid? So beautifully. He, 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 see the, the. That's why it's so important for us to. To read God's word. Hallelujah. Let's read Psalm 27. He says. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? So it is. He declaring. He is honoring God. By declaring that. Lord you are my light and my salvation. 
Of whom shall I fear? I know for sure. I know for sure that I will never lack for anything. I know for sure your light is greater than the darkness that is surrounding me. I know for sure that, that the problems that are surrounding me, O oh God, is nothing compared to who you are. For who you are, Lord, you are my light. And you are my salvation. For you are my saving grace. You are my strength and my portion, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. The enemy may come against me in one direction, but he will flee in seven directions. Because greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. So I shall not lose my heart if the enemy surrounds me. Hallelujah. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He says, when evil men advance against me, when evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall, not I. Not I. The enemy may come against me. There will be enemies around you. Hallelujah. He says in verse 3, though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. The war, war break out against me. Even then will I be confident. Even then I will be confident. Why? Where is he taking his confidence from? He's taking his confidence in the Lord, Yahweh. Hallelujah. He believes that when God is on my side, there is nothing to fear. The one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who formed, he breathed into existence the stars. And he has named them one by one. Hallelujah. He has named the stars one by one. And he has called them into existence. The one who created the sun and the moon. And today without fail they shine. Without fail they come into existence. He who spoke it into existence. He who breathed it into existence. He, the, that same God is with us. The very God who created you. for He formed you in your mother's womb. Fearfully and wonderfully. He says I have formed you. In your mother's womb. Hallelujah. This same God is with you my brothers and sisters. David understood this truth. That God is almighty. Is all powerful God. Hallelujah. And I belong to him. And he belongs to me. Hallelujah. We belong to the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why he could see that Goliath. When he saw Goliath. He did not see the height of Goliath. He did not see the body of Goliath as great. He did not see the giant as giant than, than the Lord God Almighty. Who is more giant. Who is more powerful. Who is more glorious. Who is more, more than enough. Hallelujah. That God who is above everything. Who created the heavens and the earth. Is greater than the Goliath who is standing before me. Hallelujah. So his confession was very clear. When he faced that Goliath, he did not tremble and he did not shake in his pants. Oh, Saul the king was shaken and he was trembling and he was hiding for 40 days. For hiding for 40 days and did not come before that Goliath. And but one day that, that Goliath had to face David, hallelujah. There's a, a moment of your life uh, when you go through the troubles in your life. Uh, because in this world, he says in John 16, 33, in this world you will face troubles. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Oh, Come on, hallelujah. Your God is more than enough for you. So what is God looking at right now? God is able. In, in Ephesians 3, 20 says... Uh, my God is able to do far exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever think and ask. According to what? According to the power that is in you. According to the power that is working in you. So God may be mighty. God is, a, God is powerful. There is no searching of it. There is no searching of it. There is no, you cannot describe how great and how powerful he is. Because if you look at the creation... That every tree, every plant is different than each other. Every, every fruit has a different seed. Every fruit is different in color. There is no tree that is similar in creation. Hallelujah. Even in man, there is no another you like you, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Your eyes are different than the millions that have been created. So how powerful he is. How mighty he is. How glorious he is. If that mighty awesome God has, put, has fixed his eyes on you. You and I shall take our confidence in God Almighty. Hallelujah. 
You shall not be moved and you shall not be shaken for those who are for those who are in Christ Jesus will take their confidence in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So here the word of God says in Malachi 3.16, it says, Then those who feared the Lord talked, about, talked with each other. You know, when you are, when you are of God, you will, you will speak about the goodness of God. You will talk about his goodness. You will praise him. You will thank him. In every situation, you praise him and you thank him. That's why Saul, uh, that's why Saul who became Paul, who said in, 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 in Philippians 4, 4, he says, uh, he says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Why would he say that? Why would this word would come out of his mouth? Because he knew for the one who has called you is faithful. Hallelujah. The one who has called him is faithful. And even if you go through the troubles, even if you go through the trials, even if you go through the valleys of, of, your, of your life, oh, he is with you. Hallelujah. He is more than enough for you. Hallelujah. Those temporary problems that you are facing has, no, has nothing compared, has, is nothing compared to the glory that will be revealed in your life. Hallelujah. So do not change your confessions. How important it is to speak the word. How important it is to speak of the goodness of the Lord. That's why he says in Psalm 23. Surely his goodness and his mercies will follow me all the days of my life. Surely his goodness and his mercies will follow me all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. So here the, the word of God says. Then those who fear the Lord talked with each other. And the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, who? The Lord, God Almighty. Imagine, there are millions and millions of people here in this world. But you and I, when we speak about the goodness of the Lord, when we talk about the goodness of the Lord, the Lord, He hears you. He listens to what you are saying about Him. He hears about what He's when you are praising him, when you are acknowledging him, that pleases the Lord. Hallelujah. He is pleased with that. That's an aroma that is rising unto God. That's a sweet aroma for God. Hallelujah. He does not, he is he, looking at those confessions which are good. Hallelujah. Good confessions that praises his name, praises his glory.